going to send out there on air. <laughs> X-ray in progress. So in today's season, we're making stuffing. Got the breadcrumbs. My knives. You know? No, that's how you cut. You like on the dedos? What dedos? So fake. So fake. We're on live TV right now. Yeah, we're on the Food Network channel. Just buy a package of ham. Hey, producer, do you got a beer? Or, you know, I cook better with liquor. I got you. I got some wine. Pot. Oh, okay. You know, if this became more of a big business, then I buy more pots. You said 45 minutes? For uh, up to 18 pounder. What's the technique? Because no, you're a beer. The idea is to cross cut up and down horizontally, then vertical, mm -hmm. and then you just cut across, and it already makes all those squares for you. See? Yeah. Some people will say put salt in your tongue when you're cutting, or refrigerate your onions before cutting. Cut with a candle next week. Because it's the acid that comes out of the gas that causes your eyes to cry. Steve, so you could use any type of wine for this? Or no? Did I get to this thing? No, you don't want to get a wine that's too dry. You want one that's sweet. A sweet white wine. Because red wines are too bitter. Melted butter, ground turkey. Pongas it también. Turkey? Or no? Thyme. Sage. Marijuana. Sage is for seasoning flavor. Pepper. Salt. So was it ground sausage or kiss? It's Jimmy Dean's spicy pork sausage. Yeah, so we're getting all this mixed up. We got celery, one full stock of celery, one very large yellow onion. We got a good pinch of pepper, a good pinch of salt. We've got two tablespoons of thyme. And then we've got a teaspoon, about a tablespoon, less than a tablespoon of um, sage, which gives a good flavor. Now we're going to get some of this other gooper in here. Some raisins. After this, the next class is chilaquiles with Alfredo sauce. 
I told him, I said, you want to do something crazy? Hazme unos tamales de birria y de barbacoa. And he goes, oh, yeah. All right, so that was like six, seven large button mushrooms. Butter. I need some more sticks of butter. So this is pecans? Pecans. Some ajo. So that was four cloves. That is insalada. Gotta be real careful now. <laughs> <laughs> smell it. I know. Smell the sage. That's what gives it that real rich aroma. Put so much bread at the bottom, and then start putting in a couple of scoops of this, and then just work it in. Okay. It doesn't have to be soaked, just moist. Okay. After four hours, let's look. Okay, so about half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of this one, sage and poultry seasoning, and about two tablespoons teriyaki with butter. All of this already has its own saltiness, because you know, the morning toast. A tombstone. So you're joining me, Pinchy. I don't drink alone, it's a sin. Salud. Salud. In Red Stag, Black Cherry Whiskey. Woo. Wanna see ya. Wanna see ya, right? Let's, let's cook. Official charger glass for uh, marinating. All right. Getting ready to marinate the turkey, or Fernando. So first I'm gonna inject the, the wings, because wings are always good too. So you'll see, oops. You see I'm getting fatter. Get to the other one here. Next time I gotta get me a, a metal injector. But now I just massage all that in. Massage it into the thigh. These are, uh, I'm giving the turkey Botox injections. <laughs> In two areas of the breast. After all, it is a PG. The PG channel. It's called Puro Ganas. <laughs> We're gonna inject from the top. See how it fills up? Yeah. So I like to get a, I'm giving you the extra marinade treatment for more flavor. When you're
they're deep frying, a lot of the marinade in there mm -hmm. comes out anyway during the cooking. So it's already seasoning the, the, oil. the oil. So now I'm gonna inject in the leg. So yeah, I've got fat. Look how big those muscles got. Steroids. Sure, we're at cooking speed. Aquí tiene que estar. It should be at least 350 to 375. Because each time you put a burn in, it's going to drop 50 degrees, sometimes 75 degrees. See that that dark oil? No. Yeah. That's going to give it a really rich color. Yeah, drop it in slow. Unnecessary splatter causes fires. Look at the legs. They move back. The turkey's always got to be below the oil line. We have liftoff. Monitor the temperature. That way it validates my cooking time. What are we doing here? I'm gonna pour me a little bit more. I'll eat that. I want to steam up. So now, temperature's down. We're gonna go inside, check your breast this is temperature. So it's up to about 180. where it should be at about 170 plus degrees 165 to 170 is no more than that 160 to 165 is best so the dark meat and the white meat check out look at all that juice coming up Ooh, that's going to be moist get some more firebox Yeah. Sure. 